In 2 Samuel 10 and in 1 Chronicles 19, we read about David's heart and his desire to show kindness to the king of the Ammonites, who, whose father had recently died. See, David sent ambassadors to express his sympathy to the king. But the Ammonite king's counselors advised him that David's ambassadors weren't there as representatives of David's friendship and care, but as military spies who ultimately wanted to see the Ammonites conquered and destroyed. Well, this king, King Hanan, took their advice and he humiliated David's ambassadors by cutting their robes and shaving half their beards. Now, in today's culture, I could see that maybe becoming some kind of trend, but in that time, it was extremely offensive. Well, we read that this angered David and he began to mobilize his very capable and seasoned military forces for battle. And ultimately, Hanan, even with hiring 33,000 foreign soldiers to come to his side, well, he's defeated. And the Ammonite people become subjects of Israel and King David. You see, Hanan should have thought through the advice he was given much more carefully. But even if he had not, he should have tried to negotiate with David. Instead, he refused and he opted for war. You know, we can be tempted in our own lives to respond angrily, defensively, rather than admitting our mistakes, apologizing, and trying to diffuse maybe a, a tense situation. One lesson we can take away from our time and daily in the word together is that instead of assuming, we should do our diligence. Instead of fighting, we should seek peace. As it says in Romans 12, verse 18, do all that you can to live in peace with everyone.